So it sounds like Games Workshop's teasing a new Demon Twisted Battle Automata for the Thousand Sons. Is this Sorceress Legion of Chaos about to receive some robotic reinforcements? Hello and welcome back to War Specs Tactics, where today we're talking about a really interesting and very specific lore teaser for the Dusty Legions of Zinch, where I genuinely think that this is legitimately Games Workshop teasing a new unit for the Warhammer 40k game in the not too distant future. And it's kind of exciting for the Legion, given that the Thousand Sons really haven't been a faction that's received all that much love in quite a long time now. The lore excerpt is one that has been sent to me a few times, and it's from White Dwarf 501. It's called Abaddon the Despoiler on the cover, and it's basically detailing the ongoing conflict in the Pariah Nexus, Chaos vs Necrons, and all tying in with that previous campaign supplement that we had, and of course the new name of the 40k season Pariah Nexus, where those mission deck cards are on pre-order now. If I get a chance, I might do a full lore summary of the whole section, as I'm just kind of interested as to the contemporary 40k narrative unfolding. This is all slightly uncharted territory, and was what the entire Arcs of Omen narrative arc was building up to. But I thought by far the most interesting thing was the Thousand Sons basically have their lore segment, being that they're developing and deploying a new type of unit that we've not seen in Warhammer 40k. They've used Battle Automata in the past, as we'll get on to, but that's really not something that they've been about in the Warhammer 40k setting basically at all. Maybe a few scant references, or some peripheral harking back to the Legion's past, but we've certainly not had lore of them deploying robots en masse, at least to my knowledge. As mentioned, I do genuinely suspect that this is probably going to be a new Warhammer 40k release coming out, probably in 10th edition, given that Thousand Sons have a codex to come, and they'll get at least one new miniature with that. Obviously nothing confirmed at this point, but it is exactly the sort of thing that Games Workshop likes to do, give us hints that new things are coming with snippets of lore, and the occasional blurry unit lurking in the back of images, often relating to things that surround the current narrative of Warhammer 40k. There's quite a few examples of that in the past. I also think it's very unlikely indeed that they'd really drive a massive narrative that clearly has the Thousand Sons using a unit and then not bother to develop it and sell it. If the lore piece was maybe a one-off story where something appeared and then was destroyed by the end of the episode, then perhaps it'd be a bit more likely. But this one's just a lore snippet telling us what they're doing alongside a greater conflict. As mentioned, they've already used Automata in the past, which we'll talk about next. And I think there's at least a reasonable chance that we've already seen the new miniature in a couple of Games Workshop's teaser previews, though again not confirmed. First up, while it might not be a big element of their Warhammer 40k setting, the Thousand Sons have certainly used Battle Automata in the past. In the 40k setting, machine intelligence isn't really much of a thing, not since the robots rose up in the distant past and got purged. So basically everything technology-wise needs to have a human connected to it in some form. And the automata are mainly controlled by the ab mech in the setting. Complex machines that are capable of being somewhat independent, but ultimately don't really adapt or think, and might grind to a halt without continuing inputs of commands. The Thousand Suns pattern of battle automata was developed during the Great Crusade. They uncovered technology to construct a specific one for them on the forge world of Zao Arkad, where the manufacturers there were trying to produce a psyche imprinted battle automata, something that could be directed by the very minds of those controlling them. They went on to develop their Castellax Akia battle automata and deploy them in the Heresy. They do have a current kit in forge world resin that you can actually buy and field in that setting, the one that you can see here. There's a couple of different variants, and are kind of similar to the general Thousand Suns sort of theming, either going for psychoactive bolts or flame weapons. They're big, tough, and resilient shock assault units that the Thousand Suns used during the Heresy to act as expendable units rather than deplete the strength of their legion, and tended to be in the thrall of nearby sorcerers, often amongst the Pyre cults, who developed the whole magical science of commanding them. As mentioned in the current 40k setting, there's basically been little or no mention of robots or automata fighting alongside the Thousand Suns. These are considered relics long past, but all that seems to have changed in quite a big style now. The lore excerpt from the White Dwarf has the Thousand Suns fighting in the Pariah Nexus. There's an enormous battleground going on between the Chaos with Vashtor against the Silent King of the Necrons, and that big exploratory fleet of the Abmech that Kor was commanding. They're generally trying to hang on and survive, and the Necrons have enough problems going on of their own, with Imhotep the Stormlord battling against the forces of Zarek the Silent King. There's quite a lot of players fighting in there with their own agenda. The Thousand Sons have basically come into the conflict, but not really taking any of their sides. And apparently Magnus is directing his legion at the Will of Zinch to try and prevent any futures in which Vashtor ascends to godhood. 
Kind of interesting that that basically implies that Chaos is fighting within the Pariah Nexus, but even not all the forces of Chaos are on the same side, and might be fighting against each other as well as the Necrons and Abmech. However, the Thousand Sons basically have a problem. The Pariah Nexus is the thing that exudes the stilling. The big black stone beacons basically cutting off all within it from the connection to the warp. It's bad enough for normal humans who gradually lose motivation to do anything and eventually just sit down and waste away, as has been the effect of many planets. But it's far worse for sorcerers, so it's not really the best place for the Thousand Sons to operate given they're a legion that's entirely dependent on the warp and psychic powers for their strength. They describe sorcerers struggling to maintain their grip on sanity, and the Rubrique and Scarab Occult Terminators, who are usually basically psychically tethered to one leading sorcerer, being very hard to control, and basically needing all the psychic effort and might of one sorcerer just to direct them, let alone try and do anything else useful like a bit of battle magic. As a result, the Thousand Sons have been trying to find another solution to bolster their strength and numbers while they're operating in a hostile environment. The quote from the White Dwarf says that this has provided the opportunity to send forth ancient automata and robotic thralls drawn from the subterranean vaults and towering pyramidal structures of Prospero and Sortierius. That's pretty specific that they've basically gone to their vault, dug up a whole load of robots and automata that they had from their legions past, most likely those Castellac Akea ones. That certainly implies automata and robots as opposed to dreadnoughts, though I must admit a 40k pattern Thousand Sons dreadnought will be very fun indeed. This also basically gives them a good law reason to have a whole bunch of automata suddenly crop up in the current setting, the Thousand Sons being forced to rely upon them if they're not able to use their psychic powers to their full extent. It does look like in the article they misspelt one of the Thousand Sons' planets, but I'm hardly like I'm in the position to throw stones with typos. It does happen from time to time on the channel. They go on to give us a few more details. These machines of war, many of which are based on ancient patterns and predate the Horus Heresy, have undergone millennia of sorcery and manipulation, fusing the demonic, robotic and organic in a wildly imaginative fashion, and now have a new ingredient to add to their potency in Noctilith, basically the Blackstone deposits that are all over the Pariah Nexus. This one's certainly implying that they're not mere automata anymore. The battle automata that they had in the past didn't tend to have quite as many demons in them or any organic bits to my knowledge. And this maybe more implies that they're basically sort of demon engines that they've made now as opposed to truly being battle automata anymore. Might mean that we have some demon engine things of Zinch. I'm not quite sure what Noctilith or Blackstone is going to add to the mix but it basically seems to be the resource that literally every faction wants in Warhammer 40k. The idea is that it can act as a cyclic amplifier or dampener, depending on whether it's charged one way or the other. So I guess for the Thousand Suns, it's very much likely to be amping up the psychic powers. Maybe it could be used as a power supply to animate them or something like that, or amp up their weapons, or just as a way of control, I suppose. Unfortunately, we don't really get any major description of the actual machines, so a lot's being left to our imagination here. Certainly sounds like they'd start out as the Castellax pattern robots or something kind of akin to them and then be turned into some sort of horrendous demon engine type thing. But it sounds like their process to try and make and complete them hasn't finished yet. They said tech sorcerers are working on the automata at the moment. I'm not sure if I've heard the words tech sorcerer reference to the 40k setting before. Not sure if they're more of a thing in heresy. Feel free to let me know down in the comments. But they called out a specific named sorcerer called Suleiman Kefri, a sorcerer of the Cult of Knowledge who is dispatched with the force of Prosperine Automata and Rubit Marines to try and see if they can harvest some Blackstone, perhaps denying it to the Abmech and Necrons in the process. Though as his forces have become embroiled in the ongoing war, Conflict with the Abmech has given him chance to plunder some of the technological horrors that the Abmech took with them into the Pariah Nexus. Their last story arc was a lot of them letting off super weapons left, right and centre, relic things often predating the Imperium that they didn't really understand. Again, there's not really loads more details, but this named sorcerer has been salvaging remains of the Abmech's mechanical servants, harvesting many lost secrets and insights as he does so. I feel like between all this, there's almost more lore work than they really need to do to justify these things in the setting. They're not just distant relics from long ago, newly awoken, which I think would have been absolutely fine by most people. But in the meantime, they've also been turned into demon engines. And now in the Pariah Nexus, they're bolting on some Blackstone and also learning more things from Amec Tech Heresy. Maybe Games Workshop were worried that if they'd just done any one of those, they might have been underselling just how technological or how sorcerous they were, perhaps. Overall though, it's just a really specific lore hint, just seems very unlikely that they'd give us that kind of teaser. 
And then when they return to the Thousand Sons next, just say, oh yes, those things never worked, and never mention them again. Otherwise, I have seen people speculating as to whether or not this could finally be the answer to the mysterious demon engine technology thing that was seen in the rumour engine for a while. There's a clawed foot with some barbed spikes on it that certainly look like they denoted as chaos as opposed to Imperium, with some curious weathering patterns, and a clawed hand with two fingers and a thumb opposing each other. That at first glance certainly looks kind of similar to the sort of claw that the Man of Iron had in the current setting from Blackstone Fortress, but basically doing that, but more chaos. I think they've been one of the most interesting rumour engines that people were keen to find out what they were. People have speculated Men of Iron or some sort of Vashtor demon engine, maybe a Chaos Knight. And then people were thinking that it might have been the Aura Spire Hunter thing that was coming out for Necromunda, but the parts don't match that either, even if the weathering is sort of suspect for it. If we are indeed getting Thousand Suns Automata though, then it seems at least fairly possible that these could represent them. It is basically a Chaos Walker of some sort that's standing on two legs and fighting with a big claw. I still say that the hand looks closer to the Men of Iron hand rather than the Castellax type hand. The design isn't enormously off given its two fingers and an opposing thumb, though admittedly the rest of the casing and everything is quite different. Another thing that I did see discussed was whether or not these little stripy bits that you can see on essentially the shin pad of the leg that you can see on the right here. There's just a bit of a possibility that those two stripy bits look kind of different. One's quite a lot darker than the other one, and they maybe don't look too dissimilar from the sort of blue and yellow Egyptian style stripe thing that they have going on on their headdresses. Maybe this is grasping at straws a little bit, but it certainly looks plausible from that shot. The cowling around that certainly could be a bit of Thousand Suns trim. As mentioned, it does look a lot more weathered than before, though not impossible. They might introduce a few design elements to represent the fact that the law of these is a bit different to the rest of the Legion. In any case, obviously nothing's confirmed yet. This is very much a teaser as opposed to any sort of confirmation. And even if the teaser was accurate, it wouldn't necessarily be definitely for 10th edition. Though just on balance of probability, I think there is a very real chance that we see Thousand Sons Battle Automata when the Codex drops in 10th. Whether or not it is actually both of those images from the rumour engines is maybe another question. I'm not as certain about that, and it could definitely be other things. I must admit it would rather fit the bill fairly nicely though. If there was such a unit added to the Thousand Sons, it's kind of interesting that they'd also be classed as Automata. That's a word that's pretty often used to describe the Rubik Marines and the Scarab Occult Terminators themselves merely shells of themselves quite literally that are directed by their sorcerers. I guess if they are operating somewhat similar to Admet Castellan robots and things, they might have a guiding sorcerer. Though if they're part demon and part organic as well, they might be a bit more roving and independent, maybe more similar to Death Guard bloat drones, or things like Forge Fiends and Mola Fiends for the Chaos Marines. In any case though, I certainly feel that Thousand Sons are an army that deserves some new units at this point. They've had really quite a long time to wait. Their major release with Magnus and the Rubik Marines and Terminators and things was over 10 years ago now, I believe, at this point. And then they've perhaps been one of the singly most neglected factions since, with only, I think, the Infernal Master being released for them in the interim. Even he basically just being a slightly different flavour of Sorcerer. If this does indeed turn out to be a mainline vehicle unit type thing, then there'd be at least a good chance that it wouldn't be alone, usually in 40k release cycles. Games Workshop these days either likes to go down a few minor character releases or really quite a big wave with multiple mainline units added to an army. If there's one big thing coming for the Thousand Sons, then there's a good chance there could be another couple as well. I can't help but think that some dedicated melee rubric marines of some sort would be really high on the priority list for people. As mentioned, a Thousand Sons contemporary setting Dreadnought would be very fun as well. In any case though, I'll leave that there for today. Let me know what you think of the lore excerpt. Do you really think that it's Thousand Suns, Automata, or Demon Engines coming? And if Games Workshop were to show a bit of love to the Dusty Legions, what would you most like to see realised for them? If you've enjoyed the video, then feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics, while I'll certainly try and keep up with the regular 40k news and rumours. I do tend to post new videos just about every day. Finally, I'd just like to mention that Allspets Tactics does have a Patreon page as well. That's the main thing that allows me to dedicate my time to making this upload schedule happen quite so regularly. So if you have been enjoying a lot of videos on the channel, any support on there is enormously appreciated. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you or you'd just like to help support, the link is down in the video description.
In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.